Why the deaf light? Well, first I ask myself, what do I want in a flashlight? I want a combat light. Well, what describes a combat light? Typically a flashlight that has a plunger style grip ring that allows me to have a two-handed technique as I'm firing a handgun. It allows me to have a good master grip. I utilize the Bill Rogers Surefire shooting technique, as well as the others, Neck Index, Harry's Techniques, and FBI Modifieds. I never get settled in with just one. I want a light that works around me though, so I don't have to work around it. It also has to have a momentary single output beam and tail cap designed to where when I press the button, it gives me momentary power, which means I'm in control of the light. The light just doesn't accidentally or negligently go on and I'm sitting there shining a light around in a gunfight. The issue that we find with combat lights in the past is that they were typically larger designed for military and law enforcement two cell version lights. Well, that's not something I'm necessarily gonna carry around if I'm going out in my board shorts and flip flops or dressing up to go out to dinner. I want something that works around me, something that fits in my pocket. I can extract it quickly and get to it fast on the gun and works for all those things that I said when I have to shoot when the moment chooses me. So after a lot of research and pulling different components in from different lights and a lot of practical application experience, the Def Light was born. First and foremost, a combat grip ring. If you look at the body, it has a classic surefire knurling. That allows me to have a no slip grip in the event that I'm switching techniques back and forth or if I have water, blood, or oil on my hands. Next is a beam pattern. You might be familiar with Surefire's X300 handgun weapons lights or the M300 or M600 carbine lights. This is gonna have the same ability with 500 lumens to reach out with that candela to positively identify a target at almost 100 meters or more. The good thing about the def light though is when I turn this all the way on, I can get that momentary, and when I'm in the Roger Surefire grip, it allows me to not over travel into a constant on position. In the event that I have a reload or a malfunction in the gun, when I let go of the switch, I let go, which means I have the power authority, the light does not. Because I don't want to be time in the light because that's time as a target. It also has the ability to go constant on the event that I need it for a task light or a utility light, or I just need to hold on some subject or target longer. The pocket clip is a dual direction pocket clip. This means I can orient it upward or downward in my pocket or pouch. I can also slide it onto the bill of a hat if I needed to use it as a task light. You can have the best combat light in the world and it doesn't matter if you don't have it with you. So now that these two roads have met, combat light and EDC, the deaf light is born and there's no reason to leave home without it. I'm Travis Healy. Stay sharp and be safe.